Hey guys, today I'm be showing you the last 20 plus cards, I think there's 23, in set 4, and then after this I'll either do a 300 sub special or uh, all cards in set 4 for my next video. But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you do want, um, if you do like this content so I can keep making more. But yeah, the first card is Gondo Temple, my pretty much all time favorite card in set 4 just because of the gameplay aspect. It's one of my favorite terrain cards. I know it's not the best terrain card, but it is one of my favorites. Um, and it says, If your opponent is attacking directly, this acts as a creature, but don't gain a point for killing it. So basically, it's a last defense. So if two of your opponent's creatures are, well, these are unfinished cards. Um, <laughs> it's a little spoiler. Let's say two of these creatures are attacking, and they do like four hits. This would absorb, absorb three of them, and then you would discard it. So yeah, it's a pretty good card, and definitely a staple in most decks. Next is Tiger Whale, a very good card. This card can only attack twice per game. So if you do put a Magic Brush on this, then it'll be an OP card, because if you don't know what Magic Brush is, it basically, um, the attached creature no longer has an ability. But either way, it's still a solid card, um, with uh, pretty good stats. Arctic Warrior, a basic card in pretty much all my old TCGs. 3 HP, 1 attack, 3 defense, and just a solid card. Dagon, one of my favorite cards, um, just because of its really cool ability. 1 HP, 2 attack, 3 defense. Draw 1 card for every card this creature kills. So if you attack like, or if you attach like a woodland club, give him 4 attack, then he'll probably kill a few cards and uh, get you a few uh, draw cards. Next is Skeletron Axeman. I might do an archetype on this guy, um, like... Uh, like more Skeletron cards, but I'm not sure. 2 HP, 4 attack, 2 defense. No ability, but it's still good. Oh, this is kind of cool. Uh, if you know combiner cards from Chaos Galaxy, this isn't exactly a combiner card, but it does take up 2 creature slots. Um, because it's uh, because it's pretty strong, and it's only 9 points, so it is a pretty good card um, for uh, a bunch of things. So 2 HP, 2 attack, 5 defense. Otashi Fossil. I think this card is really expensive for what it is, but you could attach it to, like, I think Star Beast, um, and it could be really OP. The attached creature now uses its current HP as their attack and defense. So, if you attach it to this guy, you probably wouldn't want to, but 4 attack stat would have 2 HP, 2 attack, and 2 defense. And then if you had 1 HP left, it would be 1 attack, 1 defense. So it's an okay card. Next is a alternative to, uh, I think it was Mountain Range. Cave of Gondo. Every round you are down in coins or points, draw one card. So again, very strong. Market Well, train card. Every round you may discard an attachment in your hand to search your deck for one common creature. Gondo Necklets, single attachment. Um, stun all creatures in play. If they are already stunned, they lose one defense. So extremely powerful, but it is extremely uh, expensive. I think what I messed up in set 4 was kind of putting some of the cards a little too expensive for what they were, like Gondo Necklets, but I think it's like it's a fair price. I probably would have just taken it down to 20. This one's 19 points, holy staff. Whenever an 11, point, 11 plus point card value is played, do 1 damage to that creature. It's kind of like the opposite of Zigzag Staff, so pretty powerful. Mutant Merman, 3 HP, 3 attack, 3 defense. All mutant cards in play gain one attack or defense from this card. So this is the mutant archetype. So this is like the main um, card that revolves around the archetype. You kind of need it for a mutant deck. Then we've got mutant slicer, one HP, five attack, one defense. One played shovel, two of your discarded cards into your deck. And mutant Vano, one HP, five, five attack, five defense. One played discard the top card of your deck. Mutant Tendo, one of my like favorite abilities too. Um, of a creature of set 4. 2 HP, 2 attack, 3 defense. This creature also hits on th uh, 3 pluses. So if you didn't know, on my game, 4, 5s, and 6s are hits, so now a 3 would also be a hit for this card. Mutant Titan Fish, 2 HP, 4 attack, 4 defense. Just really good stats. And now we get into some really OP cards. Bomb Strike, 20 points. Subtract so 1 of your uh, points and kill all creatures on both player sides with an ability. Extremely powerful. Underwater Mines, kind of an alternative to, um, I think it was Dragon's Breath. It might not be the 
better one, but it's still a solid card. It's like the fog from set one. Oh, I forgot to read the ability. Um, the next attachment your opponent plays is discarded. This card is then discarded too. So it would have to be attached to a creature for it to affect. It's not like a comeback card, but it's still pretty good. Wings of Time. Attached creature has flying, but I think it's a little too expensive because flying basically gives the attached creature plus one attack against any non-flying creatures. T-Montan, just a really bad card, but it's only five points, so if you fill up your deck with a ton of expensive cards, you kind of need some cheap ones to fill in the gaps. One HP to attack to defense. And we got an even worse card, which is only one point, which is the cheapest card in the whole game. And you can have seven of them per deck right there. Um, uh, there's one HP, but I do plan to make some cards that can combo with this in, uh, in the future. Last card is Ancient pl uh, Place. As long as this terrain card is in play, no other terrain cards may be played on your opponent's side. So yeah, that was the last, I think, 23 cards of, the, of set 4. Um, I'm already working on set 5, it's almost finished. And set 6, I've only made like one card for because I just like wanted to make a card for set 6 one night. But yeah, in the next video I will show you all cards in set 4. Also, I'm working on starter decks and I just completed them, so I will be ordering them soon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.